John Murphy will create the musical score for Superman Legacy. Helen Slater welcomes Millie Alcock to the Supergirl family. And Superman and Lois wins a Saturn Award. Welcome to the Speeding Bulletin, your Superman highlights video, bringing you up to speed on everything that took place in the world of Superman from January 31st to February 6th, 2024. Hi, I'm Steve Yunus. Before we check out these news items and more, please subscribe to our YouTube channel and click on the bell so you receive a notification each time we post a new video. In movie news, director James Gunn shared a photo of the multiple boxes containing the hundreds of storyboard cards he has personally drawn for the movie Superman Legacy. He wrote, just a few storyboards for Superman Legacy. Storyboarding is a visual planning technique used in the pre-production phase to outline the sequence of, of shots and scenes in a film. Tell you what, I'm impressed with just how many there are. Gunn also announced that composer John Murphy will create the musical score for Superman Legacy. He wrote, John was one of the first people I called when I finished the script many months ago as I knew how incredibly important the score was to this production. John has been working tirelessly since, creating hours of worth of music that will play on set as we shoot and use in the edit and that will eventually be recorded with a glorious symphony for all of you. Murphy replied by saying, Thank you, James. So proud and excited to be working with you again and proud to be a part of the DCU adventure. And what a project. Working on Superman Legacy is a dream come true. Last week, it was confirmed that Millie Alcock has been cast to play Supergirl in Superman Legacy and Supergirl Woman of Tomorrow. Millie responded to the casting announcement posting the following statement on her Instagram account. She said, So excited to be a part of the DC fam. Thank you so much to James Gunn for trusting me with Kara Supergirl. James Gunn responded by saying, thank you for blessing us with your talent. Then Helen Slater, the original Supergirl from the 1984 film, extended a warm welcome to Millie Alcock. On Instagram, Slater wrote, congratulations to the luminous Millie Alcock, the next Supergirl. This universe awaits you. You will be amazing. The image included with the message shows all the women who have portrayed Supergirl over the years, both in live action TV and on film, with the words, passing the cape, honouring 40 years of the woman of tomorrow. Warner Brothers Discovery has successfully acquired the distribution rights to Superman, the Christopher Reeve story, a documentary on the life and career of a Superman actor. In a post on Instagram, DC Studios co-CEO James Gunn said, I saw the stunningly beautiful documentary a couple of weeks ago. It emotionally floored me. Peter and I knew DC Studios needed to be involved and I'm grateful to Peter and our WBD family at Warner Brothers, HBO, CNN and Max, having worked so hard to acquire it. It's a wonderful film by wonderful filmmakers not only for people like me who love Reeve's work, but for everyone. Superman, the Christopher Reeve story, will be likely released on the DC Studios banner, airing first on CNN before streaming on Max. We'll keep you posted. Superman homepage reviewer Casey Jones has submitted his review of the Justice League Crisis on Infinite Earths Part 1 animated movie. Casey gave his first film in the trilogy a 3 out of 5 rating, saying, it was entertaining, but it strayed a bit too far from the source material than I would have liked, but not enough to make me want to completely dismiss part two. You can read his full review at our website, and don't forget you can buy Justice League Crisis on Infinite Earths part one on Blu-ray through our website. The link is in the show notes below. On the television side of things, the 51st annual Saturn Awards were held on Sunday, February 4th, with the Academy of Science Fiction, Fantasy and Horror Films announcing the winners in an event that was held at the LA Marriott Burbank Airport Hotel. Superman and Lois was nominated for three awards with the TV series successfully winning the Best Superhero Television Series. Unfortunately, Tyler Hecklin and Bissy Tullock were not successful in their individual awards. However, Superman 1978 to 1987 4K Collection from Warner Brothers Home Video did win the Best Film Home Media Collection Award. Congratulations to the people behind both Superman and Lois and the Superman 1978 to 1987 4K collection on winning these Saturn Awards. In comic book news, Superman homepage writer Craig Beamer has submitted part two in his series analyzing how Superman has been used in team situations across various media. In part two, available on our website now, Craig takes a look at Dan Jurgen's short tenure as the writer for Justice League. Make sure you check it out. Superman comic books available this week from February 6th include Fire and Ice, welcome to Smallville number six, which is available in three variant covers. Neil Before Zod number two comes in two variant covers. Superman 78, The Metal Curtain number four also has two variant covers. And Night Terror's hardcover. Now reviewers have already submitted their reviews of these new comic books with JP Rocha reviewing Neil Before Zod number two, giving it a four out of five rating saying, 
So far, this book has been very psychological, really getting inside Drew Zod's head. While Mark Lax reviewed Superman 78, The Metal Curtain number four, saying we get Lex into the mix, which is always fun, and Lois thinking there's something going on with Superman, but that's about it. And so he gave this issue a three out of five score. And you can read both these reviews in full at our website and purchase these comic books through our website as well. You'll find the links in the show notes below this video. These Superman and Justice League lanyards are ideal for ID badges, press passes, or anything else you need to display around your neck. Get this Attaboy Superman lanyard badge holder for $9.99. And how about this Hidson Superman neck lanyard, yours for $8.99. These and other Superman and Justice League lanyards are available through the Superman homepage online shopping page at supermanhomepage.com slash shop. Before we get into the rest of this week's news, as always, if you're finding this video interesting or entertaining in any way, then please leave a thumbs up and a comment below, and don't forget to share this video with your family and friends. Also, if you'd like to support the Superman homepage, then you can become an official member of our YouTube channel with different levels of perks. All you have to do is click the Join button below, or you can become a sponsor through patreon.com slash Superman homepage. So in the rest of this week's news, McFarlane Toys announced Wave 7 of their DC Superpowers range of action figures and toys. A Superman Gold Edition 40th Anniversary action figure is included in the new DC Superpowers Wave 7 4.5 inch scale action figure case of 6. Priced at $59.99 and expected to ship in April, you can pre-order your DC Superpowers Wave 7 4.5 inch scale action figure case through our website. Also included in this new wave is the DC Superpowers Wave 7 Brainiac 4.5 inch scale action figure. This action figure features approximately 5 points of articulation, he comes packaged in iconic superpowers blister packaging with artwork and logos reflecting your favourite character. Priced at $9.99 US and expected to ship in April, you can pre-order your DC Superpowers Wave 7 Brainiac action figure through our website as well. Superman fans in Atlanta, Georgia and Roanoke, Virginia will want to get along to local conventions taking place next weekend as a number of Superman related celebrities will be in attendance. ATL Comic Convention in Atlanta is on from February 9th to February 11th. Michael Cutlitz, George Newburn, and Nolan North will be in attendance across all three days. Big Lick Comic Con in Roanoke, Virginia is on from February 10th to February 11th. John Beatty, Christopher Priest, and Keith Williams will be in attendance across both days. Fans in Australia can win a family trip to Warner Brothers Movie World on the Gold Coast, plus one of $400, $150 DC merchandise vouchers, thanks to Nestle, Milo, or Cheerios breakfast cereals. Each pack also features a bonus DC superhero mask on the back of the pack for kids to cut out. There are four masks to collect. Also, you can scan the QR code on the back of your promotional pack to access four free DC superheroes digital face filters. Promotion ends March 6th. The Superman homepage Super Trivia Quiz has been updated for the start of the new month. And the three questions we're asking you this time around are, who composed the soundtrack for the movie Superman Returns? which band performs the theme song for the Smallville TV series, and which band performs the theme music for the My Adventures with Superman animated series. If you think you know the answers to all three questions, come by our website now to submit your entry. Just go to supermanhomepage.com slash trivia. That's all the news there was for the week January 31st to February 6th. I'm Steve Eunice. See you next week.